Okay, so what I've learned when we've been building our Reed Goldberg machine here at Eureka is that it takes a lot of setting up time. When you're setting up, just remember how you set it up and so you can repeat it over and over again and there are some little cheats about how to do that. You can see on some of the really ones where we've got little indicators so we can do and set it up over and over again exactly the same way. It's a good idea to try and incorporate weight if you can because that really helps um, make sure you're keeping the momentum going and using weight as a trigger. So we're going to set up this, it's quite heavy, we put some things inside it to make it even heavier so it's going to trigger the door opening here. Wherever you can do, if you can use more than one trigger just to make sure you're doubly sure. So what we've done here, when the ball's going to roll all the way down here, hopefully it's going to push this. But just in case it doesn't, we've got an extra little case here to make sure that it does definitely start flapping over and kicking every single one down in one go. So most of all, what you need to build a Rube Goldberg machine, apart from lots of patience, is lots and lots of help! Yay! Yay!